spreadsheet, functions and charts. Microsoft Office Excel is a very popular application for spreadsheet management. One of its strengths lies in formulas and functions. They let you perform basic calculations within Excel spreadsheets. Formulas Formulas are entered in the worksheet cells and must begin with an equal to sign. The formula then includes the addresses of the cells whose values will be manipulated with appropriate operands placed in between. After the formula is typed into the cell, the calculation executes immediately and the formula itself is visible in the formula bar. See the example to view the formula for calculating the subtotal for a number of textbooks. The formula multiplies the quantity and price of each textbook and adds the subtotal for each book. Sum is equal to C3 into 12. Formulas are primarily mathematical equation that can perform calculations. In Excel, a formula always begins with an equal sign. How to apply formula in Excel 2010? Whenever you start applying a formula, start it with the equal to sign. Let's say I want to multiply the value 12 to the marks of a student. Then I want this net value to be displayed under the net total column. Here is how I will add this formula. First type equal to in the formula bar. Then specify the column reference C2 in my case. And then specify the multiplication sign and specify the multiplier. Press enter and you will find 12 multiplied to the value of the first student's marks. Cell range A range is a group of connected cells. The cells in a range may all be in one column or one row or any combination of columns and rows. Learning how to use ranges can save your time. For example, you can select a range and use it to format a group of cells in one step. You can also use a range to print only a selected group of cells and use range formulas. Selecting a range To select a range, use the following steps. Move the mouse pointer to the upper left corner of the range. Click and hold the mouse button. Drag the mouse to the lower right corner of the range and release the mouse button. The cells are highlighted on the Excel screen and the selected range appears in the formula bar. No more. Microsoft Excel is best known for its number crunching features. For example, you can use Excel to summarize performance numbers for your entire department. Naming a range. To name a range in MS Excel, all you need to do is Select the range to be named. Type the name which is to be given to the selected range in the name box. Whenever you need to refer the range, just click in the name box and pick the range name from its drop-down list. To rename worksheet, right click the worksheet tab you want to rename. The worksheet menu appears. Select Rename. The text is now highlighted by a black box. Type the name of your worksheet. Click anywhere outside the tab. The worksheet is renamed. Or, to rename an open worksheet, double click on worksheet name. The text is highlighted by a black box. Type the new name and click outside the tab to delete worksheets. Select the worksheets you want to delete. Right-click on the worksheet tab of the selected worksheet. 
The worksheet menu appears. Select Delete and click Delete button to confirm you want to delete the worksheet. The selected worksheet will be deleted from your workbook.